it appears like Gorilla Glue Girl has had her hair unstuck and she saved her hair. The surgeon um, ended up saving her hair. I'm absolutely flabbergasted by it. I think I mentioned in the previous podcast that I was fairly sure that her hair would have to get shaved. I don't know. I just assumed if it was glue and it was, you know, um, known to be a very strong um, adhesive that didn't come out too easily. And considering how long it's been in her hair and how, you know, complex and, you know, um, annoying and messy hair is to sort out in that way. I just imagined the only way to do this would be to, for hair to be shaved off, especially when they started mentioning talk of a plastic surgeon. I just assumed this was kind of the obvious route for her to go. But somehow... A surgeon in LA managed to develop some sort of um, uh, liquid that was able to dissolve the glue in her hair. So now she's able to actually run her fingers through her hair. I think it's the first time in a month or something. Absolutely insane. Um, so this is a headline from TMZ. It says, Gorilla Glue Head, Gorilla Glue Hairdo. She's finally unstuck. See the video of the miracle itself, right? Miracle surgery. Number one. She's got TMZ in the surgery room with her, right? So this Gorilla Glue girl, who is not a girl, she's a 40-year-old woman, who so should have known better, got herself in a kerfuffle of her own accord, um, received an outpouring of support on social media because we're living in COVID times. People feel feeling a little bit kinder than they would be if they're living their everyday life. Raised, what, close to 10 grand on GoFundMe. Got offered a free concert, well, a free surgery in order to kind of sort this out and flew, flowed, flew out to LA to go do so. Um, it's absolutely insane. Uh, a ver verified badge on Instagram and now she's basically had the ability to go back to square one and normal and now I'm sure she'll have a company reach out to her that offers you know a wig um, a wig service hair treatment salon whatever it may be called she's gonna have a whole bevy full of treats lined up for her along her journey of um, stardom which is really really nuts considering it um, all things going forward it continues here it says, um, Tissia Brown, the woman whose hair has been gorilla glued for more than a month, finally has sweet relief. And we have a video of the surgery that saved the day. As we first reported, Tissia took up to Beverly Hills plastic surgeon Michael Obeng on his offer to perform the 12,500 procedure for free. And it was a pretty grueling process, about four hours long. Jesus Christ, amazing. Um, and obviously, the doctor's a black dude as well. Um, so, um, congrats to him for doing the deed. Um, it probably was quite important that it was a black guy. I think the fact that he was kind of familiar with black hair and had some experience behind it probably helped, I would imagine. Um, but yeah, what, what an absolute crazy experience to be involved in. Let's quickly play the video. The relief, she's actually keeps, she keeps touching her hair, running her fingers there through it. <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> How does it feel to feel your hair like Jeez, that again? The TMZ reporters interviewing her while she's lying on the operation table, still probably higher for, um, you know, <laughs> higher for a couple of drugs to sedate her. I could. It looks great. No, yeah, I really didn't think it was going to end up good like that. Incredible. I don't, even, I don't even know how she even put that thing in her hair by mistake. Like, what? What is going? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. What would what would super glue be doing in your bathroom? Like, especially setting spray or that sort. Of, it's an adhesive that that can be used. It's an adhesive in a in a spray sort of um, form, right? If I'm not mistaken, or whatever. Even if it's a liquid form, what's super glue doing in people's bathrooms? I know people have weird places to put stuff. Like, I know you know some people might have some saucepans underneath the bathroom because it's the only place um, that they have for storage or in a cupboard somewhere. But usually, you put stuff in places that you basically need. I don't know. You'd assume a, a, a tub of super glue would be maybe in your living room or somewhere on your desk in your bedroom but it wouldn't be in your bathroom would it so it's such an odd thing in general i wish i'd have waited for shit for my little sister to cut my ponytail off right you were in pain though you had to but i mean I guess I said it now, extensions but... are easy yeah but not for six weeks I mean, you didn't have to start from zero at least <laughs> is she complaining don't get me wrong is she complaining that her ponytail had to get cut off She's complaining that she should have been, she should have gone to his doctor earlier in order to kind of ensure that she kept her ponytail. Is she legitimately complaining? After everything that's gone on, after raising close to what, $10,000 on GoFundMe for a mistake that she made herself, right? A big grown woman putting setting spray or super glue in your hair because you thought it was setting spray. It was absolutely insane. You get given the benefit of doubt on social media because we're all suffering from COVID and we all kind of have an empathetic side of our heart has opened up during this time. 
and then you're up, you're unhappy that you didn't get to keep your ponytail. <laughs> How do you feel now that this whole ordeal is basically over? The over, over, over. Just crying. Mm. Let's fast forward a bit more. She's legit crying, complaining about her ponytail. This is typical. Women are fucking insane, isn't it? Women are nuts. Women are absolutely crazy, right? You get put in this. You put yourself in this situation. Society fixes it for you, and you're still complaining. And it's for free. For free too. I'm sure she didn't give the guy a tip. I'm sure she probably didn't. She probably w walked out there and gave the guy a hug and thanked her and cried on his shoulder, gave her a kiss on the cheek, maybe not because of COVID times, and went about a business. He didn't get, he obviously he got loads of free promo for this. is probably um, excellent for his um, surgery in general going forward. You know, whether or not it is that excellent if you think about it, because who else is going to purposely or mistakenly put, you know, flipping Gorilla Glue in their hair anyway going forward? Probably not. She's probably the only person in history who's probably done it. But still, you're complaining about your ponytail. The entitlement is insane. Now, or you're done with hair products for a while? I need my hair done. You need your hair done. <laughs> and, and now she feels kind of embarrassed, like sitting there on the operation table with her hair all fucked up. She kind of doesn't want the cameras to be there. But obviously, you kind of took them along with a little. I'm sure they kind of lined their pockets and maybe provided her with, you know, transport or whatever it may be. Like, ay, 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 this is, this woman is just uh, an absolute peach, isn't it? Um, Tissue was under light anesthesia, so an, a light, um, under a light anesthesia during the procedure. Um, you've got to see her reaction as she came out of it and immediately reached for her hair. She got pretty choked up once she realised um, she could once again run her fingers through it. We asked if she'd done with hairstyling glue, a nightmare, and let's just say that she has big plans for this weekend. As we reported, Tisha had flown to LA from Louisiana Wednesday morning, hoping Dr. Obeng could do what he tried, um, what she tried unsuccessfully to do more than months ago. Remember in the pitch, uh, in a pinch, she had swapped out her normal spray for Gorilla Glue adhesive, thinking that she'd be able to wash it out in a few hours later. Since then, she'd been through the ringer, suffering severe headaches, trying at home remedies, and even went to the ER, but everything made up her scalp burn intensely. So let's see what the guy had to say. The perfect solution. When I first heard of it, initially I thought it was a joke. But my office said, hey, can you, can you remove the oh, glue, glue from somebody's cap? I he's got the best accent, isn't it? I love the mixture of the African and American accent. That's super sick. When I heard what she said, I was like, oh, that's super cool. He sounds amazing. Of course. And I woke up. I thought it, I brushed it off. And the next thing you know, ha, brushed I'm it off. Ask a question. I looked up the compound, okay, the main active ingredient of Gorilla Glue, you know, polyurethane and we figure out the science how to break it down so i then decided you know i now we're going to reinvent the here the, the wheel so we has we bought chemicals that has components to dissolve or a good solvent it's medical grade adhesive remover wow that we use in the operating room uh, the company was very generous to us they brought me some they even saw me mix it up today uh, when they were here um, and then the active ingredient, I have another ingredient called MGD. I add an MGD to it, okay, which is uh, aloe vera and olive oil mixture, okay. And then we add a little, a little um, acetone, a little acetone. Unfortunately, I don't know why Gorilla Glue doesn't have a solution to it. And actually, I did make a phone call to Gorilla Glue. Uh -huh. They were nice enough to return my call, but I never talked to them. You know, uh, like I said, I have a chemistry background, so I knew that. Any compound, any compound can be broken down. And we went and got hair. So this is all hair, okay? Very typical black hair, okay? Real hair. Real hair. This is real human hair. Okay. You know, like everything we do, real human hair, we got it. We stuck it here, okay? And then we use hair extension. So this is hair extension, okay, with Gorilla Glue, okay? I can spin this all day. My kids were playing with last night. <laughs> and we went ahead with the chemicals that we made. We started using it. All this was matted down. All this was matted down, okay? We sprayed the first, so it started untangling. And I knew we had a product that would work. 
Surgery went well. Amazing, isn't it? He's the real MVP out of this, to be honest. Again, um, I'm not sure why people are making this a responsibility of Gorilla Glue. Um, they probably never had something like this happen in the whole history of the company being around. Um, one person made a catastrophic mistake, which many people wouldn't have ever made in their entire lives. They got given free treatment, got you know an amazing fundraising support, sympathy from social media, which is generally quite cruel, and they're still unhappy that they had to cut off their ponytail typical entitled behavior again hopefully this is over as an ordeal for us to view in public um the last thing we need to be doing is paying attention to such nonsense and we could all move on with our day but the doctor dr obeng is the mvp he deserves all the props and all the tension and adulation he ended up saving this woman's hair because i was more than sure that she'd have to shave it go bald and start again from scratch, which again wouldn't have been a bad thing because we're living in probably one of the best eras for wigs ever in the history of time.